Hello, DTM Collectibles here. Right, a quick rundown of the top 10 figures I've picked up in 2021. Right, so at number 10 we've got the Marvel Legends Red Hulk. It's a tower of a figure. It looks really good on display. Uh, it's really red, very vibrant colour. He's got a look at them chompers. He's got an excellent dentist wherever the uh, Red Hulk goes to his, his, uh, his dentist. Yeah, Red Hulk. Number 10, nice figure. Okay, number 9, we've got the Necker Back to the Future Part 2, Doc Emmett Brown. Um, I've got a few of these Back to the Future figures. Doc's my favourite character from the uh, the movies and I, I intend to get uh, what they bring out, really. I'm hoping they bring out a George McFly. There's some accessories that comes with him. He's got the old... Uh, USA Today 2015 newspaper clipping, some binoculars, uh, some good details, and a little plastic tie. I seem to have trimmed half of his head off, but, you know, I'm an amateur, what do you expect? Right, next one, number eight, the Ghostbusters plasma series from the Afterlife movie. I've just used uh, Peter Venkman here as an example. They're basically all the same figures apart from the face sculpts. The proton pack everything looks really cool they're so cool these plasma series figures i hope they do a few more at least um the face sculpt is it is it bill murray well it's either bill murray or or the irish tv personality eamon holmes i'll uh, i'll let you decide that but yeah number eight ghostbusters afterlife peter venkman all right number seven then the Vintage Collection Darth Maul from the Clone Wars. I've bought so many Vintage Collection figures this year. Um, this one was the, the, the best one of the, the bunch. Excellent details. It looks uh, very mean and nasty for a three and three quarter inch figure. They've um, done a really good job in making him look terrifying and menacing. Uh, yeah, so that's the Vintage Collection Darth Maul, number seven. Right, number six, Scarlet Witch, Marvel Legends from the One Division TV show. Um, yeah, I got the rest of the wave when these came out. This is the uh, the favourite of mine. Um, excellent details on the costume. Looks straight out of the TV show. I've got a sort of on a temporary display stand that I got with the uh, the McFarlane Superman, I believe. But yeah, there's Wanda looking all uh, witchy. You wouldn't cross her on a on a cold, dark day, would you? Right, number five. A bit of a change of pace for me, this one. It's uh, the neck of Freddy Krueger from the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm trying to put together a, a 1980s shelf with some VHSs on there. and uh, Yeah, so I saw Freddy and thought that would look pretty cool when I get my shelf together. It just looks like Freddy Krueger, uh, terrifyingly disfigured as he is. Uh, yeah, so that's Freddy Krueger and uh, see where this goes. Right, next up we've got Thor uh, from Endgame, Marvel Legends. The uh, This is a good figure, really nice uh, effect there, lighting up Stormbreaker. The details on the uh, on the figure, straight out of the film once again. The face sculpt, the way that they've got his eyes all lit up, summoning the, uh, the lightning. It just goes to show that uh, that haircut's a Bobby Dazzler. It just goes to show that um, not all superheroes uh, say no to a pork pie every now and again. Right, number three, we've got Captain Carter from the Marvel Legends What If line. Um, yeah, another good figure. It looks just as it, as the as, as she appeared in the uh, in the TV series. The Union Jack, the shield, the cool costume she's wearing. Uh, looks Just looks like the animated character of Captain Carter. It's a really nice figure. And uh, yeah, there she is. Right, number two. You'd be glad to know we're nearly there. Right, number two is the uh, Black Series Aura Singh. Um, great figure this. Even before they announced it were coming out, I was hoping that one day we'd get... We'd get Aura Singh as a black series. 
yeah some fine details on there really cool figure uh, it's excellent um face sculpt thing i don't even know who it's based on whether it's based on the clone wars version or the one in the phantom menace either way or a sing fantastic figure and uh yeah number one next yeah black series return of the jedi version of boba fett yeah terrific figure the way it looks the details the accessories it comes with the lack of shoulder pad yeah my my shoulder pad were missing i had to replace it with a uh, a piece of plastic and uh, yeah it's well it's done its job what more could you want apart from uh the, the correct shoulder pad um what a figure there it is my top 10 of 2021 uh, just a bit of fun really hope you've enjoyed it see ya